Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of practice problems in circuit and we will have here an OBAM question. So now we have two OBAMs and as we uh, mentioned uh, before, uh, what we need to do first, we need to identify all the nodes, either a given value or a variable. Okay, and while doing this, we will uh, use the ideal of M, which says that, and one of the rules of the ideal of M, that the V at the negative terminal is equal to the V at the positive terminal, or what we call it the virtual so, uh, short circuit that happens in the, inside the of M. Okay, so this node is basically Vn. Now, this, the V positive, this is the V positive, and this is the V negative, so this is also Vn. So this is Vn and this is Vn. So all of this node is Vn. Let's come here. Now, this node is the output of op M1. Okay, so this is a, a variable. We don't know it. So I will call it v, Vx. Okay, now this is Vx. So this is also Vx. And this is your V out. Okay, so now we identify all the nodes. Uh, of course, what we want to find is the gain, the V output over Vn. The second thing is that we need to apply KCL to our nodal analysis to all nodes. This node, we don't apply KCL because we can't get any useful information from it. So this is the first node. I will call it node number number one that we will be uh, applying KCL to it. So KCL or nodal, KCL at node number number one so we will assume the currents are leaving so we have one two three branches assuming all the currents are leaving and of course here when you apply kcl the current that enter the op amp is equal to equal to zero so the current that going down which is vn divided by one the current that goes to the to the right upward to the Vx or towards Vx is equal to plus uh, Vn minus Vx divided by 2. And finally, this current that goes to the right also towards Vx. But as we mentioned that this node and this node, they are equal because what we call the virtual short circuit. It's not actual short circuit, but the virtual one will force that these two voltages will be exactly the same. So this is plus. Uh, Vn minus Vx divided by 5 is equal to, to 0. Now, let's try to do some simplification in this equation. So I will multiply by the by 10. So this becomes 10 Vn plus 5 Vn minus Vx plus 2 Vn minus Vx equal to zero. So we have 10, 5, and 2. So this is 17 Vn. We have 5 Vx and 2 minus 7 Vx equal to zero, or Vx is equal to 17 over 7 Vn. So this is my first equation. Okay. Now we apply KCL here. We can't apply KCL at Vx. Why? Because this current, I don't know. So if I add uh, a KCL equation uh, apply by applying KCL at Vx, I will add another variable. So this is no use to me. So I can apply KCL here actually. Well, this is node number, node number two. Again, I will assume the currents are leaving regardless what I have been assumed in the previous step, and the current that goes here is equal to uh, to zero. Okay, so I will call no, this is node two. So KCL at node number two. Okay, so what we have here, the current to the left, we have Vx minus the voltage here is Vn divided by by five. The current that goes down plus Vx divided by, by 4 plus the current goes to the right towards V out, Vx minus V out 
divided by 4 equal to 0. So I will multiply everything by 20. So we will have here 4 Vx minus Vn plus 5 Vx plus 5 Vx minus 5 V out equal to 0. Now let's collect terms. We have 4, 5, and 5. So this is 14 Vx. We have 4 uh, Vn. So minus 4 Vn. And this is equal to 5 V out. And this is my second equation. Okay, so I will substitute Vx value here. So this is equal to 14 times Vx, which is 17 divided by 4 Vn minus 4 Vn equal to 5 V out. So uh, this is uh, 17 over 7, sorry, 17 over 7. So this becomes equal to 2. So 34 Vn minus 4. So this is 30. Vn equal to 5 V out. So from this, the gain V out over Vn is equal to 30 over 5, and this is equal to 6. So this is the gain of the operation amplifier. What does it mean? It means that the, um, the amplifier can amplify the, sig the signal, any signal you have, by multiplying its value by, by uh, a scalar equal to 6. So if you have 1 volt as Vn, so if your Vn here is equal to 1 volt, your V out becomes equal to 6 volt. If this is 2 volt, then this becomes 12, 12 volt. But again, as I mentioned uh, in the previous uh, video, that doesn't go to infinity because we have here a voltage that is supplying the op, the op amp. So let's say, assume that this is plus 15, minus 15, plus 15, minus 15. What does this mean? It means that the maximum voltage I can reach is 15. So for instance, if this is a three volt here, now, according to the uh, formula, this is six times three. So your V out equal to 18 volt, but this is wrong. You cannot reach 18. Why? Because the maximum you can reach is 15. So the uh, op amp will go to saturation. And if your input is a three volt, your V out would be equal to 15 volt, not 18 volt, because now you are going into saturation, which we don't like. We always try to work in the linear region of the op amp far away from the saturation. So we, we would like to uh, work in this region where your input is one or two, and you are getting an output voltage six and 12, less than the saturation level, which is the uh, 15 volt.